finally got a chance to get out on one of my good juice spots the conditions aren't perfect as you can see the visibility is still pretty poor and the swell was uh, absolutely cranking i got absolutely trashed trying to get out i used my landmarks to put me right on the top of my favorite dew reef and i come right down in exactly the right spot and seen a couple of magnificent dew here's the slow-mo footage i'm using my 1.5 edge gun with a two meter shaft seven mil shaft twin 16 mil rubbers Even though I've shot this Jew right through the back of the head and he rolled upside down, he uh, played up a little bit when I got him up on the surface. Even though you think you've stoned a Jew after you've seen the shot and him roll over like that, you really got to um, treat him carefully. Keep that really tight grip in the gills and uh, make sure you brain him still properly. You know you've hit the right spot when you're braining a fish when their mouth just fixes open like that. I string my fish on the float line using my 5 inch shark clip to push it right through. Be careful to get the shark clip right through and pull it out. Um, don't stick your hand in the Jew's mouth because they can just suddenly have a bite reflex and give you a nasty little nip. Once I've killed my fish to bleed it, I just pull several of the gill rakers out, usually from each side. Um, that gets all the blood out. You want to do it as soon as you brain the fish so the heart's still beating and still pumping blood even though the fish is brain dead. Another advantage of dropping these big gill rakers, if there is a shark around with the blood and the gill rakers drifting down, that'll hold him in that position while you swim away and give you a few extra seconds. I keep my fish right up on my fin tips to uh, minimise the chance of a shark taking a chunk out of it. They're much more reluctant to grab your fish if it's right with you. You can see I've got a spare gun on the float. That's my little kill gun. I have that loaded on the back of the float while I'm out, but I make sure it's unloaded before I swim back through the surf zone so I don't want to accidentally shoot myself. As you can see the swell is still pretty hectic on the way back in and uh, bounce my way over these shallow reefs to get back into the shore. This jewfish ended up weighing 25 kilos on the dot and was 141 and a half centimetres long. Nice big Jew, finally got one for the season, taking a long time. Good fish, very good fish, and a pair of them. A lovely shot on him.
Beautiful colours on him. Beautiful condition fish. As always, thanks for watching and please feel free to leave any comments. Always happy to address any questions or concerns.